Yeah, maybe you can talk a little bit about Metropolis and where things are going to start to go from here. What's actually important here, right, is to understand that it's a new reality. The old reality was sufficient block space, there wasn't that many tokens every day, there wasn't um, a, a thousand people trying to get the strict list every, every week so we can still handle it. <laughs> so it's actually maintaining a liquidity infra. It's actually quite a lot of things that go behind the scenes on the network interface side of things. We have to constantly kind of be in touch with what is happening in the network layer. How to get the data, how to land transactions, all these things. And then on the liquidity layer and stuff, we have to maintain the full list of the markets and the tokens or the database. And then on the UI layer, we need to be able to display all these things, not just to our users, a lot of partners and wallets and everything that uses our APIs. So being able to serve that data to them actually is really important. We kind of kept that all under control pretty well last year. And then I would say this year things just exploded, not just in terms of the congestion, but the number of tokens just completely blew up. We were looking at 20 tokens a day, now we're looking at like a few thousand tokens a day. And a lot of them are obviously no liquidity, but a lot of them want to be on the liquidity. And then the number of people applying to our strict list is also exploded. The amount of spam exploded as well. So now for every popular token, there's 100 fake tokens. And then for every, even for every semi-popular token, there's 10 of them. Everything just exploded. Whether it's on the, the network layer or our liquidity infra layer or, or it is at the, the UI layer. So everything just kind of exploded. I would say that just like the Pulse product, we had to, in essence, do three things. The first thing to do is, okay, the problem came out with Twitter. And secondly, so we had to patch the system now and then, but we also had to embark on a, a much bigger like, revamp of how things work. So that's actually something I've been working with the rest of the team on aggressively. And actually, that's the reason why I haven't been tweeting that much the last few last few months or so. We have actually been kind of revisiting our system, our backend system, keeper system, like how we appear to talk later on about how we how we're going to completely redo the, the way we, we, we index the tokens and markets. When new market is done, it's created, but it doesn't show on Jupiter that fast. It sometimes it takes like days or even a week if there's a bug. It's actually really important to, to fix these problems. We made many short-term upgrades and then now we're currently planning a full range of upgrades across the like, token list, across the market, how we index markets, how, how we do transaction submissions, uh, uh, how the, the submission process for the street list, and even the oracles. We need to do a major, major upgrade right, across the entire stack to make our products work as well as they had. It's a new reality. Thanks everyone for your patience. Please tell us, okay, if you fuck up. Uh, we, we don't always do well, but please tell us. We, we need everyone to tell us if not doing great. We are going to set up even more channels and individuals who are going to be out there who, to listen to you guys. So please, please, please tell us, okay, and then we'll try our best.